In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options in infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. You can see here in the center, I've added the oval shape where you can add your headline here and then I've given this kind of a 3D look and then you can add the icons and the shadow effect for each option and then add some detailed text to it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you want to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light blue color background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white then align center align middle I'm going to insert one more oval shape, so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose a circle hollow, or draw a circle hollow by holding the shift key. And you can see the small orange point, just drag this outside. All right, maybe this much width, shape outline, make it no outline. Then align center, align middle. I'm going to reduce the size by holding the control shift key together. You can see here, maybe this much I need. And then I'm going to make it somewhat more, I think this is okay, this much width. Then I'm going to give a 3D look for this. So first of all, select the shape, right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill here. Gradient fill, you can fill this with three colors or two colors. So I've used white and the gray color combination. Then go to the effects, scroll down, go to the 3D format. And I'm going to select this one, which is bevel round. So I end up getting a shape which looks like this. And again, if you want to give more gray or more white, you can just play with this one. All right. You can see here, you can just adjust this one. Or if you want, you can just add one more where you can add one more white. So it looks something like this. All right. So once this is done, I'm going to add a few small oval shapes again so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the small oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select this with white then go to the effects again i'm going to scroll down 3d effect i'm going to select the bevel you can see here it looks something like this then the top bevel i'm going to increase the size you can see here so it looks something like this, maybe not 40, maybe 20 is sufficient. And I can reduce the size further. Again, if you want, you can just increase the width as well. So it looks like a kind of a sphere. All right, so this is one I'm going to place it here. Hold the control shift key. I'm going to add one more here, then control D. In the center I'm going to add one and again to the right side hold the control shift key and bring to the right side and then one at the bottom we can see here make sure that this is a uh, straight line with this aligned with that object and here I'm also going to make it like this so this shape I have done now I'm going to add a few more uh, other oval uh, shapes so go to insert shapes select the oval shape again hold the shift key all right shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice let me just increase the size a little bit then i'm going to insert one more oval shape in the middle all right let me just reduce the size shape outline i'm going to make it white shape fill also white but i'm going to increase the transparency level to 70 percent and make sure that this is properly aligned or you can just select both of these options shape format align center align middle all right then i'm going to add one more oval shape to give a shadow for that i'm going to increase the size shape fill i'm going to make it a uh, black increase the transparency go to the effects soft edges increase the size here you can see here 
if you want we can increase the transparency further and put it here then send this two back so i got shape like this so this one this one and this one i can group it Control g to group it then hold the Control shift key i'm going to add one here Control d i'm going to add one option here again you can just hold the Control shift key drag here and then one more here and one more over here all right now it's time to just change the color according to your requirement maybe i'm going to choose this with purple sorry red or burgundy i can just choose with this any color of your choice you can see here some random colors i'm just choosing okay you can see here and then i can give some other color kind of a pink or whatever then i'm going to join this with the help of one more rectangle so select the small rectangle here i'm going to select this shape go to the home format and just click it here you can see here i've got this shape scroll down and rotate it all right you can see here then reduce the size and put it like this all right so now i can just copy this one Control d rotate it and bring it over here all right again Control d rotate it and bring it here maybe this one i need to move a little bit you can see here you need to spend some time in aligning this all right so like this i can do it then similarly i can just do it here hold the Control shift key and let me just zoom in and here also i'm just going to move this all right again Control d to duplicate rotate it And then move this one here and then the last one I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Control D rotate this line and then that's it so you can see here our design is ready and for this shape also you can add one shadow effect I'm going to select this one circle hollow draw circle hollow all right shape outline no outline shape fill you can make it black increase the transparency increase the soft edges and put it here like this then send this to back you can see here the shadow effect has been added now it's time to add some icons go to the icons and some random icons i'm just going to download it depending on the requirement you can just change the icons so some random icons have added here and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 color as white and then i'm going to place it each one within this one you can see here like this and that's it and then you can add some detail text here add detail text here make it white font reduce the size Control d to duplicate Control d again right align this one again duplicate and done all right so if you want to do some animation you can just group it first of all you can see here you have to group it and you can just use some basic animation effect to it and in the center add the main title i'll just say head 
line here center align increase the size and put it in the center that's it